Hello students how are you all I hope all you are fine and well So welcome back to my environmental science class myself Shomiron sir Today we will discuss chapter number 4 of your environmental science Hututu Hututu part 3 So in the last two videos that is part 1 and part 2 we have already completed in the first three pages of the chapter okay as well as i have also given you some sports related information about the game kabaddi what are the rules and regulation along with that i have also shared you the fact on nira chopra who have won the gold medal in javelin in tokyo olympic 2020 so in this video we will also discuss about some other sports women who are related to the sports event about their story about their journey and along with that i will also share you some information extra information of some medal winners in olympic so watch the video till the end and at the end of the video i have given you some question for your self assessment so you should go through the video properly then read the chapter and then you will try to write down the answer in your ifs class work copy in case of any doubt regarding any of the question you can ask me in the next doubt clearing class so let's start so do you play kabaddi is there a girl kabaddi team in your school do you think your grandmother played kabaddi when they were your age ask them so you have heard about the kabaddi it is a very popular game okay and you know any girl who are playing kabaddi maybe you are also playing or your friend in your locality or in your school do you have any kabaddi team if you can ask your mother or your grandmother okay or your father your grandparents about they have played kabaddi when they are young or not so collect some information about that and about your experience what you have earned from your grandparents or your my parents you can share with us in the doubt clearing class so do in your area play kabaddi or any other outdoor game if there are girls who do not play then what are the reason for them not playing discuss so you have seen in the surrounding area every time the boys are playing the outdoor games but have you seen any girls team they are playing any outdoor games in your locality maybe cricket football kho kho kabaddi like these types of outdoor games hockey are they playing or not in our locality or in many of the parts of our country the girls will play this concept has not developed in the people many of the people are restricting girls to play any game so in this video also you discussed about such a story of the three sister whom when they are young they are people of their society of their locality they are restricting the girls to play the game outdoor games so is there any such things in your locality also if you have you find out now today we will discuss the story of karnam maleshwari she is very famous so why she is famous you have seen or read about her in the newspaper karnam maleshwari is a weight lifter she lives in andhra pradesh so this is karnam maleshwari so she is a weight lifter and what did she lives she lives in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is the state of our country can you find it out in the indian map so try to find out the state andhra pradesh her father is a police constable maleshwari started weight lifting when she was 12 years old now she can lift a weight of 130 kg so karnam maleshwari she is a weight lifter she 
won the bronze medal in Olympic in 2000 Sydney Olympic okay so her father was a police constable and she started weightlifting when she was 12 years of age and now she can weight lift the weight up to 130 kg Karnam has won 29 international medals 29 medals of international event in different international event wild world event in olympics in asian games in wild championship like these types of international event she won almost 29 medals so it is a great achievement and we should feel proud on her also her fourth sister also practice weight lifting so she has four sister and all the four sisters they also practice weight lifting and if you can find out some other information on karlam mareshwari you should find it out and you can share it with us in the class next i have given one picture of weight lifting of karlam mareshwari as well as whatever medals record she got okay she is representing our country indian and in olympic games in 2000 which held in sydney okay in 69 kg category she won bronze medal b means bronze one championship she won bronze medal gold medal to gold medal one bronze medal and the year and where it was held and this was the category in which category she has won as well as in the asian games also she won silver medals and the year and the place it is written over there as well as over here the category in which category weight category she won apart from this there are also several other medals she won in different events in international event you can if you are interested on it you can find it out next apart from kalam mareshwari nowadays you know that tokyo olympic is going on tokyo olympic 2020 and shaikram mirabai chanu she is very famous now so why she is famous have you seen her picture in any of the newspaper or tv channel nowadays recently she won silver medal in tokyo olympics in weight lifting category so like kalam mareshwari she won the bronze medal in 2000 olympic in sydney and after 20 years kalam this mirabai chanu she won the silver medal so saikom mirabai chanu is an indian weightlifter she won the silver medal at the 2020 tokyo olympics in women 49 kg category mirabai chanu has won the world championship and multiple medals at the commonwealth games so not only in olympic she also achieved medals in world championship as well as other multiple medals in commonwealth games she was awarded the padma shri by the government of india for the contribution in the sports so padma shri award she have got from our government okay so as well as not only in olympic she also won medals in commonwealth games in world championship okay and recently the highest level of event in tokyo olympics 2020 she won the silver medal okay she become second so she is also very famous woman so i have told i will also discuss about some other women who are related to sports and who have won the medals in olympic next again let us come back to our chapter the story of three sisters so look at this photograph so here is the photograph look at this photograph 
डोंट यू लुक डोंट दे लुक लाइक सिंपल ग्रैंड मदर्स बट दे आर डिफरेंट सो दे आर क्वाइट ओल्ड नाउ बट डू यू वॉन्ट टू नो दे स्टोरी दिस थ्री सिस्टर्स आर दिस पिक्चर इज ऑफ द थ्री सिस्टर ज्वाला लीला एंड हीरा दे आर द थ्री सिस्टर दे लिव इन Mumbai. Why do they live? They live in Mumbai. Where Mumbai is located? It is in Maharashtra. So, from Indian map, you should find out the city of Mumbai and the state of Maharashtra. All three of them played kabaddi and taught the game to the others. So, all these three sisters they are related to kabaddi. All the three sisters they used to play kabaddi. Okay, and taught the game to the other not only they are playing they also teach the game to the other girls also so among these three sister the elder one jwala what jwala tells when they were young girls they were not allowed to play this game people thought that if the girls play such rough games nobody would marry them so when they are quite young when they started to play this game on that time the people they are not allowing girls to play the game because the people think that it is kabaddi is the game of boys and girls could not participate in that game but girls can also take part in the games okay for example you can see juwala lila and hira these three girls they are famous in kabaddi so people restrict the girls to play this game why because they thought that if such rough games or the girls play such rough games nobody will marry them when they will grow out see what is the reason they are giving they also said that girls had to wear clothes boys clothes to play kabaddi so they also tell that if they have to play kabaddi girls they have to wear the boys dress okay t-shirts and pants okay that is why they stop the girls from playing so who stop the people on that time some of the people's mentality is like that they are not allowing their girls in their society in their family to play the game of kabaddi because they think it is a very rough game and if the girls play such the games such types of games like kabaddi nobody will marry them as well as if they have to play this game they have to wear the boys dress and people think that it is very odd that is why they are stopping the girls restricting the girls to play this game the sister the sisters were young when their fathers died their mother and mamas maternal uncles brought them up both uncles used to play kabaddi and kho kho they encouraged the three girls to play kabaddi so when these three sisters juwala lila and hira they are young or they are very little girls their father died so their mother as well as their maternal uncle that is mamas okay their mamas used to brought them up okay there's both the uncles used to play kabaddi so his maternal uncles that is the mama both the uncles she they have they used to play kabaddi and kho kho and they also encourage the three girls to play kabaddi so their maternal uncles give them encouragement okay you should play okay sometimes nowadays your parents are encouraging you your teachers are encouraging you to do something if you are good in studies if you are good in playing in a sports event if you are good in drawing if you are good in songs dance always some of the people are there some of in your family are there some of the person who used to encourage you so in their family their mama though they are men in the society on that time men doesn't the people of the society does not allow the girls to play kabaddi but still their mama used to encourage the three girls to play kabaddi because the maternal uncles are also related with the game of kabaddi and kho kho juwala and lila talk about their experience 
almost 50 years ago when they started to play kabaddi girls never got a chance to play this game so almost 50 years ago now they are quite old so when they are young 50 years ago when they started to play this game of kabaddi on that time girls are not allowed even girls are not getting the chance to play this game parents did not let them play the game on that time before 50 years okay the parents of the girls they are not allowing their girls to play this game but we always felt that we should play and my uncle and mother supported us you see before 50 years ago when these three sisters are young on that time it is told you have come to know that the people they are not allowing their uh, girls their family uh, the girls who are belonging to their family to play this game but Lila, Juala and Hira, their mother and their maternal uncles, they are very much broad-minded person. They allowed them, the girls, okay, their children to play the game. And they say not only allowed them, they also supported the three girls. Her uncle encouraged the three girls to play the game. And ultimately they have succeeded. We learned, we three learned the games and some of the other girls joined us. So when they started to play Kabaddi, they learned the games gradually and developed themselves as Kabaddi player. So watching them or seeing them, the other girls also great the courage, got the courage or encouragement they have got. Okay, these girls are playing, so why should we not? We can also play the game. Okay, and they have joined the three sisters. We formed Kabaddi club and which is active even today. So these three sisters, they have formed Kabaddi club. Even it is also now. So why they have formed the Kabaddi club? Because in this Kabaddi club, this will encourage the girls in the locality or the surrounding to play the game. So the little girls who are interested in Kabaddi, they can come to that club, they can learn the game and they can be a good player in future. So today's topic is up to this much. The next part of the story of these three sisters Juala, Lila and Hira will discuss on the fourth part video. But the video is not end over here. I will also share you some of the other interesting facts. I will show you another two important sports women who have also achieved the Olympic medal. Can you guess who they are? See. Lovelina Borgoren. So Lovelina Borgoren, why she was famous in 2020 Olympic? She won the medal. She is an Indian boxer and she won the bronze medal. So, Lovelina Borgorin is an Indian boxer and an Olympic medal winner. She won a bronze medal at the 2020 Summer Olympics in the women's welter wet event becoming only the third indian boxer to win a medal at the olympics so now she is very famous she worked hard in her life and ultimately in 2020 olympic she won the bronze medal another girl i will show you another woman who is very much famous in the sports event let's see who is she pv sindhu have you heard her name i hope you have heard so pv sindhu is an indian professional badminton player so what is her full name pushala 
వెంకట సింధు ఈజ్ అన్ ఇండియన్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ బ్యాడ్మింటన్ ప్లేయర్ ఓవర్ ద కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ కెరియర్ సింధు హ్యాస్ ఓన్ మెడల్స్ అట్ మల్టీ పల్ టూర్నమెంట్స్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ ఒలింపిక్స్ సో నాట్ ఓన్లీ షీ హెస్ ఓన్ ద మెడల్ ఇన్ ఒలింపిక్ షీ ఆల్సో ఓన్ ద మెడల్ అట్ ద మల్టీపల్ టూర్నమెంట్స్ సెవరల్ టూర్నమెంట్స్ హుచ్ వాజ్ హెల్డ్ ఆన్ బ్యాడ్మింటన్ షీ ఓన్ ద మెడల్స్ షీ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఇండియన్ టు బికమ్ ద బ్యాడ్మింటన్ వరల్డ్ ఛాంపియన్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ ద సెకండ్ ఇండివిజువల్ అథ్లెట్ ఫర్ ఇండియా టు ఓన్ టు కన్జిక్యూటివ్ మెడల్స్ at the olympic game in the last olympic 2016 pv sindhu won the medal and this olympic also in 2020 pv sindhu also won the medal for india so for two consecutive olympic she won the medal and she this record she has achieved okay she is the only indian who won two consecutive medals in olympic and he she is a she is a badminton champion also in the world badminton championship she become the first so there are a lot of women there from which from where we can get the inspiration who are related to the sports so i have only discussed about three or four in this chapter there are lots so you we will find out and on the next video i'll to try to suppose to tell you some of the other stories of some athlete women or sports women who become famous next at the last slide i have told you that i will share you some important questions so let's follow you should take out the copy in your evs copy you should write down the question and try to solve the answer so as it is the third part on the second part we have given up to question number 11 so from 12 let's continue kallam maleshwari won dash in international event so what does she won in international event number 13 who encouraged jwala lila and hira to play kabaddi i hope you can number 14 how did karnam maleshwari become famous so why she was famous next question fit number 15 what two reasons were given by jwala for people stopping girls for playing kabaddi when they are young so jwala told that story that when they are young the people used to stop the girls to play kabaddi so why what is the reason you have to write the two reasons what they have given next question number 16 why the three sisters jwala lila and hida formed a kabaddi club i have already told in the video the three sisters they have formed on kabaddi club so why did they form the kabaddi club how this club benefits the young girls you will write it down and the last question of this video that is number 17 find out and write the name of some indian women who are famous in sports also mention why they are famous few of the names i have already mentioned in the video and rest whatever you can you will collect you will try to find out and you will try to write their names on which sports they are related as well as why they are famous maybe they are athlete they are in sportsman maybe they are cricketer or any footballer anyone it can be the indian women who are famous so i hope you have enjoyed the video so after watching this video all should take out your textbook go through the chapter and then you should try to write the question answers so thank you students thank you everyone all should stay at home take care of your health and maintain all the covid rules and guidelines sanitize your hand time to time 
use mask when you will go out of your house and maintain the social distance so thank you students once again thank you everyone and have a nice day ahead